And joining us now on the Rothman Orthopedics guest line, no longer a rookie, so don't throw that at him, going into his sophomore season in the NFL, third round pick from last year's NFL draft, Milton Williams joins the show. What's going on, Milton? What's going on, man? I have to ask you, we're going through the draft process now. Uh, it's going to be a, a month out. We're a month out from the NFL draft, a little bit less. What is this time of year like? Do you think back to your own process? What was it like uh, when you were right before you were drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles? Man, I tell people all the time that was probably the most the most stressful stressful part of my life up, up to this point, just because uh, you're so focused on your training, um, getting your position work in, trying to make sure you got the right technique on everything, lifting weights, all that going into it. And some some guys are still taking classes. And then you meeting with for 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 my group, we had uh, the COVID, so no combine, and then we had to like meet with all the coaches online, like Zoom call, like kind of like how we doing now. So I had to do this with every team, probably like two or three times a piece. Just it was just a long, long, stressful process. So I'm glad I got got through it and got got picked up by the Eagles. And should we we just getting just the beginning right here. Were you one of the lucky people that got to play rock, paper, scissors with Nick Sirianni? I did not get to play rock, paper, scissors with Nick Sirianni. I don't think – I'm trying to remember. Because <laughs> the funny thing was, I think I really only talked to the Eagles once in my pre-draft. My pre-draft, I talked to the D-line coach, and that was it. But I mm -hmm. guess he must have had me, like, on speakerphone where everybody could hear me because they all kind of, like, said something once I got there. Okay, yeah, easy enough. What were your early impressions of uh, Nick Sirianni when you finally met him? Man, he he a, a true player's coach. He will he'll do whatever it takes to win, and he gonna he'll get on your ass if you know you ain't you know if you ain't doing what you got to do. And it, if you if you want to win and you're a competitor, you gonna always respect it about about him. So no matter the situation, we are trying to win. So if I'm slacking, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> He tell us if he's slack and let him know. So try to keep that keep that uh, that relationship tight. Mm -hmm. You uh, uh, grew up in the Dallas area, if I'm not mistaken. So I want to ask you two things. One, were you a Cowboys fan growing up? And two, what has your early experience has been like with the city of Philadelphia? No, I was not a Cowboys fan. I actually was a Seahawks fan because of uh, Madden 07. Sean Alexander was on the cover. So he was on the cover. I used to just play with them like this is gonna be my team so i was a, i was a seattle fan for the longest oh okay the philly fans they they cool but like they say they they gonna let you know about it if, you, if you're handling your business they gonna they gonna let you know for sure so yeah i always tell people uh you know they're coming to philadelphia philadelphia is the city that will tell you yes your your butt looks big in those pants like we will be completely honest with you at all times yeah uh, what is what have your experience been like, like walking around the city? What do you like to do around Philadelphia? Um, now it was one when I first got to Philadelphia. Me and uh, Zach, me and Zach McPherson, mm -hmm. we were uh, we had just got down there like a week. We was trying to get some uh, Philly cheesesteaks. I forgot where we went. I think it was Ishka Bibbles or something. But we was we was walking, and we was uh, it was some other restaurants, and we just see this dude like he just sitting there. Like we don't see him, and he got like he got his phone like this. <laughs> like recording us walking by, I was like, "Well, man, first of all, how you know who I am? I'm just I ain't having no ego stuff or whatever." We was just we just kind of looked and was like, "What's up, man? Hey, how you doing?" But it was that was just one kind of funny, weird story. But the fans, the fans, cool, man. They always gonna show love. Um, I think. Pretty much any restaurant in Philly, I can go tell them who I am. Or if they don't already know, and I can eat free. <laughs> That's a good thing. Do you, now how does how does that how does that process work? Do you just kind of start there with the meal and be like, yeah, like you can call the manager, of, hey, like man, you know I really enjoyed the food. You know, I play for the uh, Eagles. They kind of told me to come. Oh, really? Oh. And then, <laughs> They they give it to you just like that. Yeah, man. Whenever you come through, just let us know. And that's that's what I tell people all the time. It's like when you finally like get money, then everybody wanna give you stuff for free. So it's like 
I don't know. That's a little weird dynamic. That, that, that is a weird dynamic. Uh, when you, I'll ask you this: When you sign your first contract, obviously, you know, as a rookie, the rookies don't make compared to the veterans don't make that big uh, you know, money. But compared to what you might have been doing before, it might be a couple of extra bucks. Uh, what was your first big purchase when you signed an NFL deal? Uh, my truck. My, my, I got a Cadillac Escalade 2021. Nice, very nice. That was, that was my that was my first purchase, and I had that for a minute. So. <laughs> That's good. good. <laughs> Hang on to that. Hang on to that for a while. Uh, I want to ask you about Jonathan Gannon and the rest of the defense because in around the middle of the season, we saw this shift where the defense really started kind of hunkering down. And you, you had, a, I believe, your first career sack against Jared Goff against the Lions and that blowout victory. Uh, what, what was it like kind of going through the entire year with Jonathan Gannon's defense? Was there a major adjustment that was made? Was there better execution from you guys, the players? What kind of happened throughout this season with that defense? I think uh, just like me, J uh, JG, this is this first opportunity to call defense. So I'm a rookie player. He a rookie defense coordinator. So I think we both kind of just was trying to like feel our way through and uh, learn and get experience as we go on. And then trying to like work out the kinks throughout the year. So like you said, like towards the middle and then towards the end of the year, everything just started clicking, started clicking, clicking, clicking. And that's because um, the coaching kind of picked up. They were trying to go more into detail. And then uh, sometimes, it, <clears throat> most of the time, it just really come down to the players just executing better. So we got to a point where it was like, at the end of the day, we got to do it. The coaches ain't out here playing. The players got to do it. So whatever we got to do, make sure we're going to get it done and make sure we, we hold up our end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to have Fletcher Cox coming back for at least one more year with the Eagles? Man, like I tell him all the time, he, he him and uh, Javon Harker, they didn't help me a lot. So if he's sticking around, that's just going to help me even get, get better and better, just watching him, being in the film room with him, and just continuing to learn from those two. Because mm -hmm. one day, he going to be in the Hall of Fame. So I need to try to steal whatever I can from him while he's still around. <laughs> Where were you when you saw the news? Did you see the news that he was released? Did you think he wouldn't be back at any point? Or did you, were you kind of confident he would, he would be there next to you this season? I actually was kind of doing what I was doing. I was playing the game, and uh, some of my, my buddies called me. That hey man, you saw? I'm like what? They go look. So I pull up Twitter. I see Fletch Cox release. I say what? So then I kind of was looking. I'm like, man, he ain't going nowhere. I know he ain't going nowhere. So then I saw the report. It was like, yeah, he's working on a smaller, smaller deal to come back, but. People was calling me, texting me, like, it's your time. I'm like, man, whatever. I, I'm going I'm to control what I can control. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I, all I can do. So I'm still going to work. I'm still going to do what I got to do and make sure I'm coming back back to Philly in, in the best shape to, to take that next step. But if he's still going to be there, that's, that's nothing. Uh, what about uh, – oh, well, first of all, what game were you playing? What What's your game of choice these days? Uh, NBA 2K. <laughs> NBA 2K, that's my game. Madden. Man, be kind of tripping sometimes, you know. <laughs> Too many glitches. Too many glitches. Two right. Two K got a couple in there that kind of make you want to break the controls, but I'll be having fun out here with, uh, with my buddies. Okay, well, what, what, who's your squad uh, for for NBA Two K? Uh, my um, two of my uh, high school. Well, really, I've been knowing these guys since like first grade. So my boy Kobe and my, uh, Keith. Oh, you guys are all playing together on the same team? Yeah, we are uh, my players. We go to my players. We go to the park and play three on three versus whoever whoever get on the spot and be running through them. So yeah, yeah, I, I'm still. I have yet to get to that level of video game playing. That's a, a little bit after my, my time. Uh, when it when it when it comes to guys like Brandon Graham, I know he wasn't there throughout the entire season. You know, playing at least you know due to the injury. What has Brandon Graham's influence been on you so far as a rookie? We're through your rookie season. Man, like I, I tell people all the time. You know, you it's some days you don't feel like doing nothing. You you go to you go to practice and you just like, whoo! But then you look over and see somebody that's been doing it for ten plus years, and he going hard. He he not taking no reps off. He doing all the extra, and I'm like, well, I see him. It's like I have no excuse. None. I have no no excuse. All the, all the seasons and practices and all the stuff he's been through, he's still out here busting his tail. I don't have no excuse. So 
just seeing him do that, I'm making sure I'm trying to – same thing with Fletch. I'm trying to copy both of them, trying to make sure I'm giving full effort, doing the extra that's, uh, that need, that's needed, make sure I've got the drills right, the play call, all that stuff. So he, he, was, a, he was a big help for my rookie year. Uh, after you talk to somebody who just went through their rookie year, I, I think I am legally obligated to ask you, what was your welcome to the NFL moment? Man, I don't even like talking about it because it's just like, I feel like I should have got a flag, but it was like, <laughs> they ain't throw it. But I guess, so we playing um, San Fran. I think it's like my third game, third game of the season. So I'm still kind of fresh, kind of like just like, Okay, trying to just get an understanding, get some experience or whatever. So uh, I'm going against uh, Lakin Tomlinson, their uh, left guard. It was a run play. So we, boom, we stalemate or whatever. The ball go this way. So instead of me, like in college, I could just drop my hands and run. NFL, they not going to let go. So I'm thinking I'm still in college. He, he latched on. I drop my hands to run. He's still on. So he kind of gave me like, boom, like, get me on the ground, my back and everything. And I'm like, I'll get up. I'm like, Rev, what's this flag? And he was over there laughing and Rev was like, <laughs> so I'm like, bruh. But luckily, I guess the, when the coach watches film, they kind of like just moved it to the side of the day with the show. <laughs> but so- I, I, just, I just saw that play so many times. Like, man, he, he kind of got me. He kinda <laughs> got me. What was your what was the uh, reception like when he went back to the sidelines? Uh, I don't think uh, because the because I was away from the ball, so I don't think that many people saw it. But okay. some of my uh, some of my rookie teammates, they like, I kind of I saw you. I was like, bro, he was holding. They was just laughing, but it's all good. They right, come, you playing in the NFL? Somebody gonna get you one day. Somebody gonna get you. Uh, I asked you about playing next to guys like Brandon Graham and obviously Fletcher Cox. What about uh, the offensive side of the football? Did you get an opportunity to go up against Jason Kelsey enough in practice? Did you get an opportunity to play against, you know, first team QB, like uh, obviously uh, Jalen Hurts? What was that experience like for you in practice if so? Uh, First of all, them two, Jalen Hurts and uh, Kelsey, they're on a different type of wave. They kind of, they kind of know what each other thinking at all times. I guess they do put in extra work meeting or whatever, but they're on a different wavelength. But one thing I say about Kelsey is he's not the biggest guy, but he's strong and he gonna move quicker than you. He's gonna beat you to the spot. So that's how that's how he get a lot of guys. You see like a big nose type of trying to line up in front of him. If we run a sweep or something. He already reached before the ball snapped because he controlled the ball. And then with, I guess with Kelsey being a veteran, they let him kind of like uh, let him kind of like move the ball a little bit, try to like play with the defensive defensive lineman. So I guess him being being a vet, he can get away with it a little bit. But he 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 gonna he gonna beat you to the spot every time. So I try to try to make sure I get my hands on him first. But we we definitely have some battles in practice. And then Jalen Hurts. He's just a guy that you watch in practice. He going over everything, trying to make sure everything right. Uh, don't let him get out the pocket because he gonna score or throw a touchdown. So that was our mm-hmm. our big emphasis in practice. Uh, through the off season, we referenced Fletcher Cox already, but you guys have added Hassan Reddick. You guys have also uh, af- uh, added white linebacker, obviously to your defense. W- are you following all that throughout the off season, seeing that you guys are adding pieces defensively? Yeah, definitely. And but I think I'm kind of following like every team especially my team, but I guess just growing up always watching the NFL, playing Madden, knowing who going where, see who getting traded and all this stuff. So I just kind of see it all and kind of pay attention to it all. But mm-hmm. I like the moves we've been making. When the season ended, I know you guys always have conversations at the end of the year, kind of exit interview type deals. What did the Eagles tell you that they wanted you to work on throughout the offseason? Um, they kind of told me that they like how I improved. Every every game at the end of the year, but they just want me to be a uh, just be a more accomplished pass rusher when I come back. So I think that's one of the things I've been working on constantly because I feel like that's really like the only part of my game that I that needs work the most because I think I'm pretty stout in the run game. As you can see, if you uh, watch the tape later on in the year, I was I was trying to make it my mission to make sure like. There ain't no hole right here. If they come over here, it's my tackle. So 
Yeah, y'all gonna either have to throw a screen or do something else to try to get me out the way, but they ain't finna run it right here. Double team. <laughs> so, well, yeah, okay. I I will say uh, you were on my radar early, not just because you were a third round pick or anything like that, but I remember you had a really good first preseason game, and I was doing a post game show for the game, and I just remember thinking, and Milton Williams will be on my radar. So I did keep an extra close eye on it throughout the season, and. I think the numbers help tell a good story for what you were able to do. You were fifth on the team overall in tackles for loss, which is pretty damn good. Uh, you were also second among the defensive linemen for deflected passes. The only guy that had more than you on the defensive line was Josh Sweat. And I got to imagine you're playing a little bit less than 50% of the snaps throughout the season. So just to be in those categories, rank that high, uh, is pretty damn good. Yeah, and that's – I, I just kind of – and that, I'm glad that you kind of say that because I, I think I'm myself, my myself's biggest critic. So uh, I, I do feel like I left I left some plays out there, sacks, TFLs, tackles, all that stuff. But just to just to know that I'm up there on those list, that it made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> That's what that, that's what I'm here for. Maybe let me on your 2K team. Maybe you're an NBA 2K team, and I'll I'll, I'll help beat your friends or whatever it might be. Uh, I do. Do you ever interact with fans on social media? I know you're a Twitter guy. You're on Twitter. Do you ever go back and forth and have some fun with these people? Uh, I do sometimes. Sometimes I get a funny DM or uh, <laughs> people be asking me for advice or something like that. I I, I weed them out and see see uh, which one I want to reply to, but I don't get back to everybody. It'd be it'd be too many sometimes. Hey, hey. I'm sure. Wait, advice? Like, what kind of advice? Like, life advice? Just asking about, like, well, how can I get better at football or how can I do this? And my mm. main thing is just staying consistent. Mm. Yeah. How, how can I get a free meal in Philly? Oh, uh, you know I mean, you got to, I don't know, you got to talk to somebody about that. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. Uh, I also want to ask you this one more thing, uh, personal question here. Uh, your sisters, you have two sisters. Uh, is it Michela and Mia? Mm -hmm. yep. what, and, and you're Milton. So what's with the M names? What's What are mom and dad doing there with the M names? Well, I guess my my dad's name is Milton, too. So I guess my mom's name is Willinette. So I don't know. I guess she just wanted to go with the M. She named, they had Michela. So they, I guess they named her M. And then they were going to have one more. But when they went and got the, um, what's it called? The sonogram? That's what it's called. When it, to see with the baby. Is that what uh, ultrasound or whatever sound? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ultrasound, yeah. Ultrasound. So when they saw the ultrasound and the doctor told me it was having twins, so it was like, okay. So I guess they just came up with two two more M names. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like growing up in a house with two sisters? Oh man, you if you can if you can just you can see the look on my face, you you kind of know. It's just I'll be trying to do my own thing. They kind of get annoying and want to tell on you for doing stuff or if y'all play fight you you hit them too hard or you push them too hard then here come pops like <laughs> i know you can't be can't be putting your hands on the girls of course not of course not okay but the one thing i always tell people is my twin sister i think my twin sister is a better what well, she was a better athlete than me growing up and I was always, I was always kind of jealous of her because of that. But so, what, what, what was her sport? What, what was she playing? She played basketball. She ran track, cross country, and she could have played football if she could. If she could, if she, if they would let her play, she would have played. <laughs> All right. Uh, when when can I get your sister on the show? <laughs> Sue, I don't know. Whenever she got time. <laughs> uh, fantastic. All right. Um, let me ask you. I, I want to play Fast Five with you, if you would indulge us. Just five random questions we ask every first-time guest of the show. Uh, are you willing to play Fast Five, my friend? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Milton Williams, right now I'm going to ask you Fast Five. First question, best job before your NFL job? Best job before your NFL job? Never had a real job. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Never had a real job, but I did try to make a side hustle cutting people's yards for 20 bucks. Oh, there you go. A little landscaping. Good for you. I do the same thing. Uh, except uh, no NFL career. Uh, go to fast food place. Go to fast food place. Ooh, I'm going to have to say Whataburger, but in Philly, they don't have Whataburger. Let me tell you about Whataburger, for instance. Now, you said Whataburger. I say Whataburger. Is there a thing there? What am I missing? 
I don't know. I just hear. I guess down south we just say water burger. <laughs> I have had a water burger and I was unimpressed. Really? Yeah. Man, what? What did you get? What kind of? Just a regular one? Uh, I got whatever the number one was with a Coke or something, whatever. Yeah. I just, I just was like, I, like I used to travel a lot, uh, and I would always go to a local fast food place that I didn't know about, like in and out burger, obviously in California, Whataburger, uh, Bojangles, even though they're, I think they're coming to this area. Uh, but Whataburger, I remember thinking, meh. Nah, you gotta get the patty milk or the sweet and spicy bacon. Okay. All right. Next time. Mental note. Uh, <laughs> Oh, first date deal breaker. First date deal breaker. Mm. Talking too much. I don't, I don't like people that talk too much. So either, either they talking too much or like they being rude to like the people that's working, like the, the waitress or things sure. like that. Sure. I see yeah. That. I'm, ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you there. Uh, favorite city to travel to? Favorite city to travel to. Uh, I don't really, I don't really have one yet because before I got to the NFL, I was really just in like Texas, so I didn't really just travel a lot like that. But I guess now mm. I, I'm going to LA. I've never been to LA. I'm going to LA. So, okay. So I'm gonna see what that's like, and then since I ain't never really just been nowhere, that might be my favorite. Uh, how about let me let, random question? This is an aside. This is question four uh, A. Uh, is there a place in the world you want to go? Place in the world. Ooh. I look, you want to go to China. It might be. Why not? Why not go to China? Sure. I want to just see what it's like. You Walk know? around that wall they got. Yeah. And just, and just see what it's like. I know it will be, it'd be something different for sure. I, I would think so. Uh, and then finally, Milton Williams, you seem like a really nice guy. All right. But what makes you honk your horn in traffic? Ooh. If somebody cutting me off or if I'm driving and they just like getting over, it's like, come on. Like, what you doing, man? Either you they, you look, they looking at their phone or something like, bro, put your phone down and drive. Dan, look at your phone. Don't, don't. Put me in danger because you're trying to text or whatever. So that'll definitely get get a little get a little beat from me on that. Gotcha. I mean, you're you're driving around that beautiful uh, what Escalade truck. You don't want to yeah. ding that thing up. Don't touch my truck, man. <laughs> don't let nobody touch it. Uh, Milton, this was a lot of fun to catch up with you, man. Really uh, nice to get to know you. Really impressed with your rookie rookie season. Keep up the good work, and obviously keep on learning from guys like Brandon Graham and uh, obviously Fletcher Cox as well. Uh, this was an absolute pleasure, my friend. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely. Milton Williams, make sure you guys are following Milton on Twitter as well on all social media platforms uh, where you guys could uh, chop it up a bit as well. And, and feel free to ask life advice because he'll he'll get back to you. Uh, Milton, thanks so much, brother. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Milton Williams joining us on the Rothman Orthopedics Guest Line.